We have explored countless anomalous creatures, characters, and entities within this series. However, sometimes the biggest mysteries can be found hidden in plain sight, involving seemingly everyday background characters. Whether they be bizarre animation errors or peculiar easter eggs, in this episode we shall explore a selection of several specific characters and the oddities that surround them. Those who have seen the Society's Q&A may recognise this character. First appearing in the episode Crusaders of the Lost Mark, we know surprisingly little about the character of Lily Longsocks, only that she is a regular attendee to the same school as the CMC. Exhibiting a shy demeanour, the character rarely ever passes through Ponyville and rarely seems to directly interact with others. Her cutie mark is of a hedgehog, possibly giving her a connection to animals or the natural world. Besides that, all we really know about the character is her propensity for surprising physical strength. While such strength is not unusual amongst earth ponies, it is noticeably less common amongst foals, to the extent where it is even pointed out in universe. A possible clue in regards to such a characteristic comes from the story of Rockhoof, a character who seemingly attained his great physical strength through a mixture of bravery and sheer willpower. It is not unusual for the mental state of a character to influence some aspect of their physiology, or even the environment, as we have previously discussed. While this is not always the case, it is a phenomenon with reoccurring observations amongst very different characters. So, could this be applicable here? Could some innermost strength have manifested itself as physical strength? Such an interpretation does fit the mythology of Equestria, however, there is an alternative. In the case of Rockhoof and many other instances, said abilities also seem to have manifested themselves in response to a need, an environmental trigger that required immediate action, be them a life-threatening situation or simply resulting from the character's livelihood. Much like how a burst of adrenaline can lead to super strength in humans, at least temporarily, could the same be true of equestrian magic? Could something unexpected have happened to Lily Longsocks? An incident that required the strength necessary to escape, resulting in her enhanced abilities. Given how little we currently know about the character, this remains our best theory to date. Until we know more about her, there is not much more we can really say. That being said, a big thank you goes to Dark Summoner 2 for suggesting the character as a topic for investigation. Derpy Hoos quickly became a reoccurring easter egg within the early seasons of MLP, much to the audience's delight. However, the appearance of the character in the season 2 episode A Friend Indeed gave us something a little more unusual. Floating within a freshly shaken snow globe, one that was implied to have been owned by Cranky Doodle, she is quite clearly seen moving by herself with a solid enough appearance to not simply represent a reflection from somewhere off screen. The question is, how exactly did she get in there? Given Pinky's strange attributes, it's tempting to assume the latter may have had something to do with it. However, her abilities don't generally extend to shrinking ponies down and trapping them inside snow globes. If it did, about a dozen villains would have been beaten by her alone. Our best guess in regards to her connection is the possibility that her mere presence within the vicinity somehow increased the likelihood of such an odd eventuality occurring, although we do not have enough evidence to prove this conclusively. A far more promising set of clues comes from the episode just before the one in question, Hearts and Hooves Day. These are the last two times Derpy is seen prior to her appearance within the snow globe, interacting with Time Turner and Tornado Bolt. It is perhaps worth noting that Tornado Bolt was one of those who accompanied the character of Princess Aurora in the past, an oddity we have previously explored. That being said, Tornado doesn't seem to interact much with Derpy, beyond simply walking in the same direction close by. Time Turner, or Doctor Who's, is somewhat infamous within the fandom for his headcanon connection to the titular character of Doctor Who. Even setting that aside, we know he has a surprising capability with scientific invention, 
even experimenting with time manipulation. And, of course, he happens to have a close friendship with Derpy Hooves. So could either of them have had something to do with such a bizarre occurrence? Could Derpy have been dragged along on some strange adventure occurring mostly off-screen that somehow resulted in the sighting? This is difficult to assess for one simple reason, the sheer improbability of it all. Even if either of them is involved, just what events in the grand cosmic scope of the universe could possibly lead to Derpy Hoos appearing in a snow globe owned by a donkey who just happened to be moving into Ponyville? The only other possible clues remaining are the two buildings that appear within the snow globe. Thanks to those in the Equestria Daily and Main Chat Discord servers, we were able to identify the buildings as coming from Manhattan. The fact that Cranky Doodle had a snow globe exhibiting said structures implies it may be one of the hotels he visited in his journey across Equestria, or that at the very least the place might hold some significance. Beyond its connection to these events, however, there doesn't seem to be anything unusual regarding the location itself as far as we can tell. As such, it may not even be connected. Granted, this is something we can't really determine from just the outside, but again, we just don't have the information. Whichever way we look at it, some kind of story is occurring in the background, and one that we barely glimpse. Fortunately, whatever happened seems to have left our favourite male mare little worse for wear. Unfortunately, this is one of those cases where we don't really have enough to form a cohesive answer. For all we know, it could well just be a case of it's Pinkie Pie, don't question it. That being said, as always, we are open to suggestions. One of the original settlers of Ponyville, and the father of Granny Smith, Pokey Oaks has an important place in the history of the town. Implied to have passed away decades ago, it came as a surprise to many viewers when he made a reappearance within the present day. In the season 4 episode Leap of Faith, he is seen visiting Flim and Flam, one of many buying into the duo's universal elixir scan. Later, in the season 6 episode Where the Apple Lies, we see the character again within a flashback of Applejack's foalhood, appearing in the exact same condition he would be seen many years later chronologically speaking. He has the same look, same cutie mark, even the same clothing. Strangest of all, he shows no sign of aging, in stark contrast to his daughter and great-grandchildren. There are a number of possibilities to explain these discrepancies, however the first that come to mind lean heavily towards the supernatural. Whenever the character has appeared within the modern day, he is seen to exhibit major injuries. Not only that, but the bandages he is wearing are somehow the exact same the wounds never having healed in the years following his sighting in Where the Apple Lies. Beyond Granny Smith's flashbacks, he has never appeared outside these two episodes, possibly remaining in the hospital the majority of the time, and again without ever having healed, or aged, or even just put on a different set of clothing. Couple this with the fact that he only exhibited these injuries after the events of Granny Smith's flashbacks, and we are left with a somewhat grim possibility. Could it be that the Pokey Oaks of the past suffered an untimely accident or incident that eventually proved too serious to recover from? Leaving his ghost still inexorably tied to the halls of the hospital, where he had met his ultimate fate, only occasionally seen exploring the very town he had originally helped to birth. While a strong likelihood such a theory is not without its issues. For one, we have little evidence that ghosts even exist in universe. Secondly, beyond his extraordinary similarity to Pokey, there's nothing pointing towards this character even being a ghost. He could just as easily be a local with a chronic or long-lasting injury and a coincidental similarity. Thirdly, it seems odd for the present day versions of the characters not to notice each other if they are really family. That said, Granny Smith is the only one who actually knew Pokey, with the events of the episode providing something of a distraction at the time. Not to mention the risk of potentially scaring his family might make the ghost of Pokey reconsider making his presence known. For now, the question of what happened to Pokey Oaks 
will likely remain open for discussion. Either way, given the time that has elapsed, it is unlikely that the character remains alive. Whether or not his ghost still roams Equestria, we can only hope that his life was at the very least full and happy. Given the impact he has had on the town he helped to build, it is unlikely, at least from an in-universe perspective, that he would ever have been forgotten. Even in a universe filled with magic, there are many apparent mysteries seemingly hidden in plain sight. While it is likely most of these characters exhibit a far more mundane explanation for what was seen, it doesn't really undermine the curiosity surrounding them. If anyone watching has any suggestions that might explain the enigmas discussed here, or if there are any further phenomena you feel might be worth analysing, feel free to comment. In any case, thank you for watching.